this is the cold well at a Americanized Mexican wannabe restaurant. It's not getting cold enough. Now mashed potato Johnson has been out here and he's worked on it and he said it was overcharged. He took all the refrigerant out of it, vacuumed it, weighed in and proper refrigerant charge. The reason he knew it was overcharged was that the compressor was sweating. He says he checked the TXV and it's feeding properly, but that's all he said. Now we know it's not overcharged anymore. The compressor's sweating and it won't get down to temp. He apparently relocated the temperature sensor, changed some parameters, all at the order of tech support because, you know, we need tech support. I said it used to be a cap tube system and someone installed a TXV. I'm gonna need to find that TXV. Look at that compressor, look at it covered in sweat. Some of the people that watch these videos know enough about refrigeration to see a sweaty compressor on a TXV system and not assume overcharge. Here's a capillary tube. I wonder if that's what he saw when he said the system used to be a capillary tube. You notice it has gray paint on it? Now what kind of capillary tubes have gray paint? The ones on a TXV do. Well here's the TXV right here. Pointlessly wrapped in insulation. It's adjustable. Apparently that TXV and that compressor over there runs the rail and then this little system here in front of me runs the cab. They're separate. Look at that sensor bulb right there. One cheek attached to an intermediate line. Why would you do that? We got the rail over here, and we got the rail over there. See the little two plastic grommets that it all goes through. And apparently the refrigerant is metered only for this one. And the entire other thing on that side is all suction line now because the that sensing bowl being moved. And every bit of this was Tech Support's idea. Mashed Potato Johnson came here, called Tech Support, they told him it's overcharged, and they told him to move the TXV sensing bowl, but apparently they told him about the cap tube right there. Tech Support, they do more harm than good about half the time, man. You don't need Tech Support to figure this one out. This TXV is overfeeding. The way they designed this thing, the only way to access the low side service port is to pull the condensing unit all the way out like, and set it on something. This is stupid. Look at that suction pressure. That's about 53 degrees. It's a wonder it's even gotten below 53. This is all it can do. Sweaty compressor. It's about 128 degrees there, but this discharge line ain't even hot. So here's our little capillary tube and it leads up to the original TXV sensing bulb the TXV been replaced. So that's where I'm going to clamp the new TXV sensing bulb. Have a look at this. Look at how loose this is. Look at that. You can't have a sensing bulb this loose on a cold rail. You won't get good enough thermal contact. That's the way you ought to do it. See how the pipe's kind of crushed? Tighten those down with an impact. Stand the steel hose clamps. That's the only way you ought to do that. Everything else is either ineffective or a waste of time. I've left the system running this whole time. And look, before I get a chance to insulate it, there's already got ice on the suction line. So now that it's insulated, let's see what that means to the pressure. Head pressure hasn't really changed. Suction pressure to drop down to 26 degrees. This was frosted right before I turned the camera on, but I guess you'll have to take my word for that. Pressure starting to warm up. Discharge line is hot now. And look, the temperature is dropping. I didn't touch the refrigerant charge. The system was never overcharged. TXV systems don't overfeed when they're overcharged. Come up and see a sweaty compressor on the TXV system and just yell, hey, it's overcharged and waste half a day taking the refrigerator out and putting it back. There's the frost. See? Told you so. The fact that that frost is coming and going the way it is means it's about 32 degree suction line. 
and about a 25 degree evaporator, so we have some superheat. I'm not going to adjust the TXV. I'm going to let this ride. Because look, liquid line is nice and cool now. It's just barely lukewarm. I don't need to calculate superheat and subcooling for this. That's a textbook text way of doing things. We don't do it that way here. Refrigeration is not rocket science, but it is more complicated than the list of possible scenarios and what you do about tech support. Why do you call tech support, man? That is not the original condensing unit, and it is not installed correctly, but I'm gonna leave it just like it was. That's how you diagnose and fix a simple overfeed on a cold rail system.